I want you to come to Canada, Joe. I know you. I know you haven't come to Canada, yet, but, but lately. But because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I because I watch the show all the time, so I, I know I know what you. I know your feelings about Canada. But it's here's the thing. Everybody loves you in Canada. I, I'm coming down here. Everybody's so stoked that I'm here. I, I, I love Canadians. I, I just hate their government. That Pierre. How do you say his last name? Polyver. Yeah. Well, it's French, so it's it's. Well, I don't think he's French, but the name's French. Pierre Polyev. Polyev. So sort of a weird yeah. R, silent R. Yeah, it's a strange, as, as you see it written down, it's very difficult Polyev, to remember. How Polyev, Polyev, yeah. That so, guy, mm-hmm. that guy makes so much more sense. Yeah. He's so common sense and just calling out all the nonsense that's been done under this administration. It's just so sad to watch. So this is the thing that I, I kind of, I guess, just wanted to throw out there, which is, it's it's... It's not unlike here in the U.S., right? You've got Biden as the president now, right? And then mm-hmm. you've, you've got uh, essentially a Democrat. We're, we actually call our Democrats the liberals, right? That's how, mm-hmm. that's how unabashed we are liberal up there. We actually call the party the liberal party. It's not a bad word up there, right? They actually call them the liberals. And the other ones are conservatives. And conservatives, liberals and conservatives. But it's the same thing, you know, like half the country hates the the party in power right now just like as much as anybody you know and it's a, just a constant thing and they want to get him out and and so you know it's just, uh, i just i just wanted to you know as a proud canadian want to throw out the distinction that uh, you know canada's you know it's like here it's the same bullshit that's here everybody's arguing about issues important issues it's being reinforced you know, through these algorithms, people get mad about it, mm-hmm. and then they start arguing. But so, you know, like I, I sometimes kind of go, I wouldn't it be interesting if Pierre Polyev won the next election, right? Because then all of a sudden we'd have a conservative government up there, and uh, and uh, let's say Biden won down here, you got conservative government up there, and then Tucker Carlson might be going up to Canada talking about how great we are all of a sudden, you know? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> it just can switch on a dime, you know? It so, could. You know, it could go back. And it has before. I've had, uh, you know, there's been. My lifetime, Joe Clark was the first conservative prime minister. Then there was uh, uh, Brian Mulroney and uh, Stephen Harper was pretty recent. So didn't they put new restrictions on firearms up there? They just they just banned handguns. Absolutely, yeah, but not rifles. Yeah, which is pretty extreme from an American uh, standpoint. Certainly, I mean to think that. So so obviously, if you own handguns. Do you have to get rid of them? No, you're not allowed to sell them to anybody, and uh, you just you're stuck with them. So it's that that, and that's the probably the biggest biggest um, change that's happened in you know the, you, there is also no uh, automatic weapons up there, so you can't get a AR-15, for example. So it's AR-15s uh, aren't automatic, or yeah, uh, semi, that caliber semi-automatic. or whatever, whatever. Yeah, you can't get those those weapons, so, but you can get a you know. Uh, a rifle, a shotgun. You know, I have a, I have a three oh eight. I have a two four three. I have a twenty two. I have a shotgun. You know, mm-hmm. I have twenty gauge, twelve gauge. All, all the normal hunting uh, rifles are fine. So, what was the thought process behind banning firearms or banning pistols? Well, I don't, I don't, I wasn't really kind of. I, I think it was just uh, an Is there attempt to curb. Voted on? Well, they they voted for the government, and the government did it. So, yeah. so, you know, um, so, uh, you know, obviously some people aren't too happy about it. One thing about Canada is like there's the gun culture is different up there. It's mo- mo- more people are, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to get in trouble with the people that are handgun enthusiasts in Canada, but it's just not as common up there more. It's more about hunting and, and, uh, hunting rifles and, but there are probably a lot of people that are pretty upset about it for sure. But, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's they're not they're not actually taking away people's rifles or, or anything like that. So, but um, one of the exemptions is individuals train, compete, or coach in a handgun shooting discipline that is on the program of International Olympic Committee or the International Paralympic Committee. Looks like someone's going to have to become a shooter. <laughs> yeah, I compete. I'm, I'm, I'm personally I compete not compete in shooting. That's why I have to have this gun. I'm not really like, you know. I like I like my lever action rifle. Uh, I, I like my shotgun. I think I might may hunt turkeys this year. I'd like to do that. We have mm-hmm. a lot of turkeys on the property. I'm not really. Uh, I don't necessarily feel like I need a handgun. It's 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 a different kind of. Uh, I don't necessarily thing. feel that anybody mm-hmm. should tell me that I can't have a handgun. Yeah, especially yeah. not the government. Yeah, especially not the government that's already done some really shady shit. Yeah, like what yeah. they did with the truck drivers. Right. Well, I'm from Ottawa too, yeah. so. 
uh, the the trucker rally was was interesting. Dude, they fucking took away their bank accounts. Mm-hmm. They, they they seized people's, they closed people's, and froze people's bank accounts that just donated money. Yeah, is that coffee? Yes. You know, you know yeah. what? I, it was uh, first of all the trucker rally is was interesting because I'm from Ottawa, so I grew up. You know, the Parliament Hill. I'm sure you saw it on the news, like the mm-hmm. the, the Parliament buildings is our is our basically our Congress and our, our Senate combined, right. essentially. The House of Commons and the Senate. Downtown Ottawa is like Washington, D.C., right? That's that's our Washington, D.C. I grew up there. I grew up skateboarding on the Parliament Building's front steps, you know. I did a radio show. This is something about the freedoms of Canada that I think is interesting, okay? When I was a kid, I did a college radio show. And uh, it was midnight till 2 in the morning. And, it, and I, w- I would say during the show, okay, after the show, everybody... Uh, show up on Parliament Hill, bring a soccer ball, let's go play soccer. And then we'd show up there with pizzas and we'd play soccer on the front lawn of the Canadian government till four in the morning. Every half hour, the bell would go, bang, bang. The RCMP cops would come, they'd shine their lights out on the, on the field. It was super positive, right? I love Ottawa. It's an amazing city. And, and I, I, I understand that everybody has the right to express their, their, uh, their, uh, their uh, dissent, right? And I think Trudeau probably did overstep with some of his uh, reaction to that, with some of the things he said specifically. But, but there was also this element of n- not only was the city shut down, there's people that live downtown, so there, you know, those horns were these air horns. There was, there was really kind of, there's babies sleeping. It's like really like a neighborhood, right? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of funny in a way the difference between Canadians and Americans sometimes. I'm both, right? I'm a dual citizen. I love, I love, I love... Fence rider. No, I just, I just love both countries. You know, <laughs> I've lived here for 20 years. I, I, um, but what, what, um, you know, what is sort of a comparable thing, I think, was, you know, what, you know, in the United States, they, on January, was it January 6th? They, mm-hmm. You know, they did more than freeze those people's bank accounts, right? They threw them all in jail, right? So They threw a lot of them yeah, in jail. Yeah, so yeah. it's sort of, I'd say it's like a comparison, comparable thing. It's like, I guess that's the thing I just kind of No, that's different. feel is it's like, that's, hold there's on. sort of hold comparisons. On. Hold on, right? hold on. First of all, it's different because <laughs> yeah. they entered into the Capitol building. Right, right. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah. They, a lot of people broke glass, yeah. they smashed windows, they mm-hmm. did a lot of shit. It was also... It's not comparable because it seems like they were instigated in some way, yeah, at least partially, by by people in the audience that wanted them to go in there. Yeah. Now, whether those people were federal agents, or whether those people are Antifa, or whether those people are Democratic operatives that want to turn this into chaos because it's a great way to attack Donald Trump. Yeah. Whatever it was, there definitely was people that were instigating people to get into the building. There's video recordings of it. There's also weird instances of cops opening gates. Letting yeah. people in. Mm-hmm. The fact that oh, it yeah. was severely under-policed. Mm-hmm. When they had the George Floyd protest, the Black Lives Matter protest, they had way more cops there for yeah. that than yeah. they did for this crazy thing where the dude is denying the election and his rabid fans are going to show up. And you're not prepared for this? That right. seems The whole thing seems like if I was going to make a playbook, if I was going to instigate a bunch of dumbasses to go do something really stupid because it will make their leader look like a fascist and, and Hitler, mm-hmm. that's how I would do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you have that too. Yeah. It's not as simple as the trucker protest was a legitimate protest where a bunch of people were like, why are you telling me that I have to take this experimental medic- medication or I can't work? Yeah. Yeah. Like where is the fucking information? Where is th- – and now – over time, we've seen now that the, the the studies that they did do, they don't have to release them for like 75 years. Mm-hmm. You know about all that? Like yeah, all yeah. The, the paperwork involving mm-hmm. the vaccines? Yeah. What is, what is the exact ruling of like what information they're withholding for 75 years? Let's be real clear on that. But then it's also... How many people we know that got injured by it? Yeah. You're you're smart to be reluctant to do something that's new, given the history and track record of pharmaceutical drugs in this country. Absolutely. Especially when you have a novel, new thing. The idea that this is going to be the one that's absolutely innocuous. You should at, le- at the very anyone. least you should be able to, to to consider not doing it, talk about not doing but it. But listen, mm. man, there's no drugs like that. There's mm. no drugs that have a, a gigantic effect on anything that don't have some people that have 
horrible adverse reactions to them. Yeah, yeah. Even normal shit. Some people, d- people die from Tylenol all the time, man. They overdose on it. Yeah. People die from all kinds of medication. It turns out they have an allergy to. Mm-hmm. It's like weird shit happens with people when you start. If and people are right to be reluctant. Yeah. But you might be right and you might be wrong, but you're right to express that you don't think the government should be able to tell you what you can and can't do, Specif- specifically about putting something into your body or you can't work. That's yeah. crazy. So that's yeah. that protest. It's a different yeah. protest. Yeah, for the sure. The whole vibe Absolutely. behind it's different. Absolutely. It's it, in is response- a, it is a different subject for sure. It's but- in response to tyranny. FOIA requests, the FDA had previously said that it takes approximately eight minutes per page to process records for the FOIA request and that it could only review and release 500 pages a month, which is 6,000 pages a year. At that rate, it would take 75 years to release all the data. (laughs) That's crazy. Yeah. That's so crazy. I guess the point I'm trying to make, which is outside of the weeds of it, is when I'm hanging out in Canada... Half the people I talk to are so excited for me to come down here, and they're all like, ju- they're, you know, they were supportive of the truckers, right? Like this was not yeah. like this was not some it's not some fringe thing in Canada. Maybe the people that actually got in their truck and drove there and right. camped out there, maybe that was a little bit more of a you know dedicated protester than the average citizen. But there's you know, it's just like here. You know, you get people, Joe Biden. Trudeau, they you, kept you know, you know, chanting you know, it at the you know, UFC. You know, you know what you would probably be amazed to see? I don't know if this is so common in Canada that we just don't even really, I don't even think to mention it. Driving around everywhere in the country, in the city, everywhere, people pick up trucks, Trudeau flags. Yeah. It says Trudeau, black flag, white letters, Canada flag on it. People are mad and so it's not just like everybody in Canada is just down with it. Now, enough people are down with it that he got elected, but he might not get elected the next time, and then then, then that'll be just like I it is down here. I hope he does It might just be like it is down here. If he gets elected again, you guys are gluttons for punishment. Yeah, it could be. It could be the same as here. Biden could get elected again. Trump could get elected. It's They're, sort of like – this is uh, – I was, I was thinking the other day – I'm almost kind of wondering, this is obviously a stupid idea, but I'm, I'm wondering, like, maybe, wouldn't it be almost be better if we just got rid of the elections and just let, let the conservatives run it for four years and then just automatically the liberals run it four years? I, I, I can pick a, whole, a million holes in why that wouldn't work. But, and just let it go back and forth, and then people can just be like, okay, let's just all get along. Let them have four years at running the country, do what they do, let the other side run for four years. It's kind of a pendulum that goes back and forth anyways. And then we can kind of get back to, you know, just all getting along and... Uh, well, if, you know. even if that did happen, the same problem would take place. And yeah. it's that the people that are embedded, that are running the government, the real people behind the curtain, they're always there. Yeah. They don't get elected. Mm-hmm. They're always there. And those are the people that are actually running the government. Which, so it would be the same horse shit that we're dealing with now. Mm-hmm. Every four years, some new spokesperson comes in play, uh-huh. and they do a bunch of shit that pisses off half the country. And at the, the, the same thing behind the scenes, the same people are running things. Yeah, it's so frustrating. And I got to the point where I started to kind of um, just try to disconnect from the, from the conversation, which sounds yeah. – sometimes I feel bad about it because, you know, you want to have – you want to have a social – you know, contribution awareness. To, yeah, but then you go, discussing. man. I just don't feel like talking about the same thing over and over, over and over again, and over and know? over and over. Again. It's like, yeah. yeah. But, uh, what I was gonna say though is that, you know, like the whole system is set up so that one person can't be in control for too long. That's the whole idea about term limits. You got four years and then you get elected again you get another four years and then you're fucking done Mm. i don't this i'm just saying this this is not something that i like fully support but there's something to be said for someone staying in there for a long time and getting it right if they're good at it yeah right i mean if i was backfires in any other job it would backfire with power and control the problem is we are terrified of having someone like putin yeah who's in in control of russia for decades right for sure 
But if you had someone who was good at the job, you would want them to stay on the job. Like if you had the best CEO of your company, you're making record money and everything's doing great and the products mm -hmm. are incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'd want to keep that guy as a CEO. He's obviously killing it. And when Steve Jobs was running Apple, he's killing it. You don't yep. want to remove him as a CEO. Because well, you, know, you know how long it takes to build anything, right? Right. And how long it, it takes, takes to get good at your job. To build anything. Right. Yeah. And to figure out who are the right people, who's, who's backstabby, who's, you know, who's fucking, you know, what, what are the issues? Who's trying to climb the political ladder and they're just thinking about themselves only? They're sociopaths. Figure it out. It takes a long time to fucking work your cabinet now. Work all if you had a, a president that was a young president that gets in at like 38, 40 years old right. mm -hmm. and uh, 20 years of running the country correctly, mm -hmm. that's what most of these dictatorships have yeah. as a benefit. Yeah, It's horrible for the people. But at the benefit of having one guy run things and yeah. just keep it locked up and this is the right way to do it. We've been doing it this way forever. This is correct. Yeah. It's interesting that... Yeah, you got a couple. The most important job ever, and you, a new guy gets it, or a new woman, right. never yet, but someday, every four years. Yeah. That's crazy. And and, and often trying to undo everything that was yes. done the four years before. Yeah, well, and, so that's what term limits, limits brought in. But then on the flip side, you know, we don't have term limits, limits in Canada, and Trudeau's going to be there for, you know, if you're if you're not a fan of Trudeau, you go, oh, I wish we had term limits, you know, because he's been there over ten, over eight years now, right? And, right, but, but he that's might cause he, that's cause be he's getting, getting elected voted out. out. He might, he might yeah. be getting voted out. It seems like the Canadians are uh, leaning towards getting rid of him. Is that correct? You know, it's one of those things where it's 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 kind of feels like it's almost like, 50-50 ultimately, but who knows? It, I, I think it definitely who feels is, like it could happen. Who doesn't want to get rid of them? Who are those people? A lot of it's regional. It's it's. I guess it's, ex you know what, you keep, I kind of, if we, I knew if we were going to talk about this, I wanted to kind of sort of make this point because I, again, I want Americans to understand what Canada is. It's exactly like here. It's the same people that the same type of people that like Biden are the people that like Trudeau. Like the people in Canada that mm -hmm. vote for Trudeau are the exact same people that th they like Biden too. Right. There, there's nobody in Canada that likes Tru Trudeau that also likes Trump. There's also nobody in Canada that likes Pierre, Pierre Polyev that likes Biden. It's exactly right. the same. It's the same division. It's this, even on social media, it's the same. Mm. Like you go on social media, you go on TikTok, you got angry conservatives in Canada saying. Trudeau and, you know, we're turning into a communist country and all of this stuff, like completely, completely the exact same thing as here. So, so it's, it's just, uh, it's just, if I was, I'm not here, like try to be a spokesperson for Canada or anything, but that would, they would not want that. Well, I, I think, think that's what scares but, us the most no. about Canada mm -hmm. is that Canada is so similar to the United States, mm -hmm. but we're seeing your rights erode. Mm -hmm. There's also weird bills that keep getting passed, you know, the C-16 bill, mm -hmm. the, you know, mandatory pronouns, mandatory use of someone's pronouns. And then there was the, the fact that you guys don't really have freedom of speech. You have hate laws. You have hate speech laws. And then you also have some weird shit going on with Canada trying to regulate the Internet. Yeah. And with the government trying to regulate podcasts and make podcasts subject to their... Whatever. They did try. They, the, they, I, I, I did a little research on this in case it came up. <laughs> they, they tried uh, and they haven't, they haven't put into effect uh, that uh, regulation of the internet of as far as regulating uh, disinformation. That has not been put into effect. And Trudeau actually said he would not put, in, put that into effect. It was a, you know... Sort of a subset of, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of like, uh, you know, you've got your extreme left wing here and then you have cooler heads and they did not actually put that into effect. Um, Is it still on the table? Uh, he, Trudeau has said that he would never put that into effect. Well, I think he's saying that now the, because he's no... And, and so the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, okay, that's kind of like our constitution, I guess. They, they say we have freedom of expression, freedom mm -hmm. of the press, freedom of assembly. So... So but we just do the have fact that you have elements of your government that would even consider that. Yeah, but it's that's like here. It's, it's like it's yep. like here. It it's is like here. And that's, it's that's the same. Exact it's just the kind same. It's the same thing. Like if you don't agree with it, then it's the same thing as you know, you know, Joe Biden. You know, it's mm -hmm. the same thing. Trump, Trudeau. Trump, you know? Trump, same so thing. and so you know, because because it's 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 interesting. Like I I just really want you know Americans who are you know just not uh, have never been to Canada, right, to understand that. Like, there's are a you lot. working for the Canadian Ministry of I would consider it something. Tourism you know, and travel. You know what I was thinking about? Like, in Canada, you don't have to be born in Canada to run for prime minister. 
you could run for prime minister of Canada and uh, come up and, uh, <laughs> and and solve all this stuff. I mean, you have to live up there, but it's a nice place. You could come <laughs> on, come on up to Canada. You could you would win too. That's the thing that would be amazing. You'd be you you would win. And you could just imagine if I became prime minister of Canada. Can you imagine? I was just thinking. Do you think it's crazy Donald Trump being president of the United States? That would be next craziest thing. That would be the next craziest thing. More My, crazy, I'm almost more crazy, because at least he was like hinting about running for president forever. Yeah. Have I just on a whim just decided to go run for the prime minister of Canada and win? Because you would, you would win, because okay. you have so many fans up there. You really do, and that's that's why I want. That's so scary. That I'm is so unqualified to run a country. Well, I mean, you've got a lot of, uh, you know, valid concerns and uh, you feel strongly about things. I think uh, you should run. I would support you. I think that would be amazing. I want to roll up to the World Economic Forum high on mushrooms. <laughs> See, in Canada, by the way, <laughs> mushrooms are basically legal in Canada now. Weed is, yeah. well, here's something, Trudeau, again, not, uh, not, he did legalize weed. That is one thing that he did do. So congratulations, yeah. did one good thing. <laughs> it's just he's a weasel. That's the yeah. problem. He's what I don't like in leaders. This yeah. fake mm -hmm. bullshit, mm -hmm. fucking nonsensical gaslighting. I just that shit drives me nuts. It's so creepy. And then using all the inclusive terms to make it seem like everybody else is a piece of shit, mm -hmm. and you're an amazing human being, and you're on the right side of progressive movement. Like mm -hmm. it's all just a bullshit act to stay in power. Yeah. And when you see politicians do it, you know they just fucking wet their finger and try to figure out which way the wind's blowing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and say those things and then act in the interests of whatever money got them into that position in the first place. Yeah. Whatever machine is behind them, mm -hmm. whatever support they get, that's, that's all they're doing. And those types of politicians, that's not the only kind you can have, you know? It's kind of like, yeah, it's... You can have real leaders. They, they do exist. It's such a huge sort of thing to wrap your head around you know it's, it's capitalism it's money it controls everything it's i mean i kind of feel just leaving los angeles leaving hollywood right kind of has a has sort of reset a little bit of oh, yeah. my you know like you know uh, you know this more than anybody else of course but you know because we even talked about this whatever it was 20 years ago on my podcast about how you know you can democratize uh media with podcasting and get rid of all this money controlling everything yeah. controlling and so it's sort of a you know a micro micro sort of more it's a similar thing to just politics in general you know money comes in controls everything it can be so frustrating especially now when you can see that um you know you don't necessarily have to play that game anymore